Can you believe I want a giveaway by a big art company? It is Scrollerbox number 99. Obviously, it's lovely that I want a giveaway, but this box here is controversial. This is the pastels box, and I'm not good at pastels. I think this one's going to be a bit of a disaster. Wish me luck. I think I've got everything set up, but first, can we appreciate how tiny this box is? This is so small. This is the size of the box. Okay, we've waited long enough. Let's unbox it together. I don't want to wait, I want to unbox everything and then we'll go through the zine together afterwards. Okay, I tried my best to save the sticker but it wasn't happening. This is the 99 box and I believe it's all about these. These are the Faber-Castell soft pastels and I've only ever had cheap soft pastels so I can't wait to try these. Oh, it's a box and a box. It's a box and a box and a paper. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of colours to expect, but this is actually quite a range. I was thinking about doing something with skin tones, so... Hmm, <laughs> I'm not too sure about that now. The reason I never really gravitated towards soft pastels is just because they're so messy. Like that. I love the box that it comes in though, I think it's so cute. We also got this. I believe this is just a 2B graphite pencil. I have got Faber Castell graphite pencils before, but I haven't got a gold Faber, so I don't know if it's any different. Um, we've also got this. I've never tried Derwent pencils before. This one's a pastel pencil, so it should be really lovely for adding those final highlights, I think. Got a little... Oh, it's got two sides. Well, back in the day, I used these for eyeshadow, so I'm pretty sure it's probably the same thing. Next we've got a kneadable eraser. These are my favourite kind of rubbers. I actually included these in the gift ideas video that I did where I said about a load of things that you can get an artist for under £2 because these are so handy. And we have... Oh, little black currant sweet. Nice. This tissue paper I'm going to be keeping for journaling. Then we've got a zine, which we'll have a little look for in just a second. And, oh, this is a lovely art print. I didn't see this kind of icy blue in the set, but it's a really lovely shade. Very pretty. This is by DUSD. So pretty. Then we've got some paper with no identification on it. I mean, it's pretty, but that's a little bit odd, isn't it? Let's have a little look for the zine. Yeah, see, I don't see the really light blue that is in this. Unless they don't use the same products, like... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how this pencil is different to the green ones. Wait, did I get a sticker? I didn't get a sticker. Oh no, I so would have put that on a sketchbook. Yeah, I've got everything else, I just didn't get the sticker. Which is sad, because it's a really lovely colour. This is a little bit more about the artist. I love that all the pieces are on this tan pastel paper. The one that I have is very white. Okay, so you can hatch and you can mix colours by doing overlapping hatching. Okay, I might have to give that one a try because I've never heard of that before. Hmm, this is interesting. I think I do actually have a fixative spray. Let's have a look. This is the 96 box. Oh, Annie's on here. That looks like that was a really cool one. Oh, these are lovely. It's interesting how both of these artists chose to use the blue for the background. I have a little read through that bit later. We've got 10 sheets, so should we do some swatches to begin with? Yeah, that opens okay. Right, let's do some swatches. We've got 24 colours. And I might have this little sweetie. It's like a chew it, but I got so much paper still on it. I've zoomed us in a little bit. Let's try out these pencils. Ooh, I've never used a pastel pencil before. That has a lot of pigment coming off. And then this one... It does feel slightly different to the green pencils, but not too major. And then we have got a list of all of the names here. Oh, okay, so it's this one. So we should be able to just follow that down. Do you know what? I might roll my sleeves up because I feel like this is now going to get messy. 
It's really hard to see with the white, so I might just sort of leave that one and then play about a little bit with the other colours. I can't really tell much difference between the two sides, to be honest. I think maybe the white one might be a little bit softer. If remember, this is kind of the best way to save all of the pigment that goes everywhere. Have you ever tried pastels before? I haven't used them in years. I have like some really cheap own brand ones. I used to use them for like backgrounds in GCSE art, but I've never actually created a piece using them. I don't know what these swatches are by the way. I'm gonna smudge them a little bit because otherwise they're just gonna be really messy. Those two colors are very similar, which I'm here for. I like pink, but they are quite similar. This one's nice and different. No, I'm not gonna be able to fit them all on down that way. Oh, this is a lovely shade of blue, that one. Kind of feel like I'm in an Emily Arts video. I've seen so many people use the scroller boxes. It's so strange to finally have one. And I won it in a giveaway. Which is really odd. I've entered so many of them and I never thought I would actually win. Um, I think I need to compress them a little bit more. We're not gonna fit them all on the page. Oh, this is really nice. This reminds me of like the Malachite green that Karen Dash does in pencils, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, I'm gonna need to squish them a little bit more to fit them all in. Four more to fit in this tiny gap. The bit that I don't understand about pastels is how you sort of create something nice and don't ruin it with your fingers, because that's what I always end up doing. And I mean, it's not intentional. You can literally see, like, just from doing that, how messy they are. But I did think of doing something like an eye because I really like doing eyes. That's kind of my comfort zone. I don't know, the only reason I'm using this is just because my fingers will like contaminate everything. Even though I do actually have pastels, I'm always a little bit hesitant about putting them in a sketchbook because they're just so messy. The only reason I'm really pressing them down is so that they don't go everywhere. I think if I was gonna do something like an eye, We'd want to get the base down first and we'd probably want it to be like really smooth and then we build up from it. Okay, this is what we've got. I was thinking about drawing an eye, which might be a little bit difficult with the colours that we've got, but we can try and blend and give it a go. I found this eye on Pinterest that I really like the look of, so maybe we'll use this one as a loose reference. I'm a little bit nervous out of all of the boxes to win. Pastels is the one where I have the least amount of experience and I'm the least confident with. Like I'm not confident at all, I don't know how to use them. Okay, I'm gonna deliberately make it a little bit smaller because I always end up going bigger than I need to. And especially with it being pastels, I think that's what's gonna happen here. I haven't done an eye in ages though. It used to be like the comfort thing that I would always do. Okay, I think the sketch is decent enough for us to begin. I'm gonna do a really light base layer over the entire thing, try and mix some different colors in, get my fingers all messy, I don't know. And then we'll refine afterwards. I have no clue what the pencil is gonna look like underneath, but I guess we'll come to that when we come to it. Should I use my fingers or should I use this? I don't want to get this messy just yet, that's the thing. So I might use my fingers. I think the first layer is just kind of getting the pastel in. Okay, we're looking very Simpsons right now, so I don't know how we're going to make it look less yellow. Let's try and make it look less yellow. <laughs> Ooh, 
Maybe a little bit of pink just to bring it to life. So I think we did a little bit too much blue. I think that eyebrow will need to be bigger, but I quite like what the pink has done. Maybe I'll try adding a little bit more of this kind of cream just around the outside. It looks a little bit more like a skin tone. Yeah, I'll make the eyebrows look a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're not very good eyebrows. Okay, let's give this a try. Yeah, it does kind of like pick up the pastel and then move it, which is why I was trying to use my fingers for the base. Should we add the eyeball now so it doesn't look as strange? And then afterwards we can see about adding makeup. I'm gonna blend this first and then I'll add the darker color in the middle. A little bit of gray. Oh, is this looking like an eye? It's not really blended how I thought it would. Maybe I'll add a little bit of pink just on the inside here because I feel like that's a little bit green. Well, I don't feel like it, like it is green. The yellow and the blue blended together and they did in fact make green. Oh, what if we try a little bit of grey around the outside? Okay, I think the skin tone needs to be a little bit less orange. And we also kind of want to add some makeup. kind of want to try using this pencil to add the eyebrow hair and the eyelash hair but I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll try on the eyebrows first. We need to add the eyeliner as well so let's let's give that a go. Pastels are so messy. I think I need to smooth this out a little bit. I think it's a bit too dark around the edges. I think I might try this pastel now. So I kind of kept the highlights here, but maybe I'll try and add a few more. 
It's not as opaque as I thought it would be, to be honest. Yeah, it's nowhere near as opaque as I hoped it would be. Okay, what do we think? I think there's quite a lot of texture, but I actually didn't end up needing the kneaded eraser at all. Obviously there's a lot of colours that we didn't end up using, but I still think this is a really cute piece for my first time trying to create something using pastels. I don't know, is that good for a first time? I've watched so many videos here on YouTube of people opening up these subscription boxes and trying them, and it's so fun to finally have one myself. I hope you've enjoyed opening up this box and seeing what I can create with pastels of all things. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know down below so I can make more like this. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you on Thursday with a new video. Bye bye.